Making our streets safer, Senator Bill Nelson and Orange County Sheriff Jerry Demings went public this afternoon with what they see as a common sense approach when it comes to so called assault weapons and high capacity magazines. The two spoke today ahead of President Obama's announcement tomorrow where he will unveil his proposals to fight gun violence. Congressional officials say the president has been weighing 19 steps he could take through executive action alone. West News Dave McDaniel live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office with what these men are suggesting. Dave. Well, Senator Bill Nelson says he doesn't exactly know what the president is going to suggest when it comes to guns, but he suggests that perhaps the 1994 assault weapons ban could be used as a pretty good blueprint when it comes to this issue. He also says that this debate really needs to center on common sense and moderation. This weapon, this weapon is for killing. It's not for hunting. An AK-47 alongside a Bushmaster rifle straight from the evidence locker at the Orange County Sheriff's Office. What we see on the streets of Orange County often when these weapons show up on the scene is violence. They're not being used uh, in the capacity as a defensive weapon, but in fact they're used in, for offensive purposes by criminals. The sheriff joined with Senator Bill Nelson to Just talk guns. Exactly Nelson says certain guns certain high capacity magazines gotta go. This is not an assault on the Second Amendment. I support the Second Amendment. I own guns. I don't want the government telling me whether or not I can own a gun. That's part of my constitutional right. And the senator says the gun show loophole needs to be plugged. He says if dealers have to check criminal backgrounds, traders, neighbors need to do the same. Why in the world would we not want to check to see if a person buying a weapon has a criminal record. Nelson thinks the 1994 assault weapons ban should be used as a guide. He voted against letting it expire in 2004. Deming says in the mass shootings, there was always a plan. People notice things. He says that's a key to a safer community. There's always somebody who sees something that looks uh, unusual, suspicious, and they should be alerting the authorities uh, to what they're seeing. And again, Nelson says it makes him really uncomfortable when he thinks about weapons that were created for military superiority when those weapons are found on the streets or in homes. Reporting live in Orange County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.